Welcome everyone, it is my pleasure to welcome you to Rachel and Jason's wedding. Today we have come to celebrate a love story. We've come to name the story, to mark a place in the story, and to offer our blessing to their story in this beautiful and historic setting. Each of us knows that a marriage is not created by a law or a simple ceremony. Rather, it occurs in the hearts of two people who love each other. We recognize this through the lives they have already committed to living and the path they have already traveled together. Yet today we gather in this place to celebrate that the love between the two of you is an amazing and sacred gift. It is beautiful and it is in that spirit that we gather to recognize the true marriage that already dwells within your hearts. Eternal and gracious God, your glory surrounds us like the magnificent trees that grow all around us and the waters that nourish this beautiful peace. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to gather today to enjoy and embrace the miracle of love you have created in the hearts of Rachel and Jason. And we feel privileged to share this sacred moment in their lives. Rachel, well today is our big day that we've talked about for years and it's finally here. Hopefully when you're reading this letter, you're super excited and ready to walk down the aisle and become my wife. I hope you know how much you really mean to me and how much I love you. The reality is since the day I met you, I've not been apart from you since, just for a few days and the reason is because I can't live without you. You make me a better person and together I think we're unstoppable force that can achieve anything in life as long as we do it together. On a day like today, we're surrounded by the people that love us the most because they're all here, here to celebrate you and I getting hitched. <laughs> Bet that made you laugh. The journey we have taken has been crazy and it seems only like yesterday I met you for the first time. And from that moment till right now, you have my heart. I truly love you so much and I hope you understand how much you mean to me and how much I'm looking forward to starting a family with you and growing old and sitting back and laughing when we're old about our wedding night and to tell me it's going to be something we're always going to remember. Well, always, I don't want to hold you up. I'm sure you have a hundred things to do between your hair and makeup and all your girls making sure that you're ready to walk down the aisle and be the most beautiful girl in the world and showcase to everyone how much we mean to each other. I love you more than anything and always will. So when you're ready to come walk down the aisle and marry me and spend the rest of your life with me, I'll be here waiting. Love you, Jason. Like I'm walking with eyes as blind as a man without a lantern in a coal mine. What would I do if I were you? My imagination gets the best of me, and I'm trying to hide lost at sea. What would I do if I were you? The difference between what I've said and done, and you're still standing by my side. A guilty soul and a worried mind I will never make it if I'm on my own the morning I got midnight you are patient I'm always on time oh, what would I do without you you got your sunshine I got rain clouds you got hope I got my doubts so oh, what would I do 
Huh? Hi. Oh my god. You look amazing. Are you so excited? I am excited. You look amazing, wow. Are mm, you excited? Hmm? Wow, you are gorgeous. I pray that you will continue to bless each person here as we offer our prayerful and loving support to this marriage. And we pray that Rachel and Jason will always recognize your guiding spirit throughout their life together. And Lord, as we witness this couple joining together today, may we know you are surely in this place because of the joy we see resting on the faces of Rachel and Jason. As family and friends of Rachel and Jason, you have formed a community of support that has surrounded them in their daily lives thus far. And each of you by your presence here today is being called upon to continue to uphold them in loving each other. So to this wonderful group of family and dear friends, I ask a similar question. Do you offer your blessing for their marriage, promising to always encourage them, support them, guide them, and stand by them throughout their marriage? And now you stand in the presence of God in this loving community of family and dear friends, ready to acknowledge to the world, this is my beloved, the one with whom I choose to create and share the rest of my life. Jason, do you take Rachel to be your wife, to commit yourself completely to her and her alone? And do you promise to love her, care for her, comfort her, and stand by her through all that life may bring as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> I ask you to repeat after me. I, Jason, take you, Rachel. I, Jason, take you, Rachel. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For all the days of our life. For all the days of our lives. And Rachel, do you take Jason to be your husband? To commit yourself completely to him and him alone? And do you promise to love him care for him, comfort him, and stand by him through all that life may bring as long as you both shall live. I do. I ask you to repeat after me. I, Rachel, take you, Jason. I, Rachel, take you, Jason. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better and worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For all the days of our life. For all the days of our life. We have been privileged to witness this day the joining of your two lives through the exchange of your rings and the giving and receiving of these rings in token of your love and commitment to each other. So now because of these promises, but more importantly because of the love you have demonstrated for one another, by the authority vested in me by the state of South Carolina, and in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, it is my honor to bestow upon you the most honorable title of husband and wife Jason, I would suggest you seal these vows by kissing your beautiful <laughs> wife. Woo! Woo! Love you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my distinct privilege to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Jason Burton.
As our lives unfold in years past, most couples come to realize that love is more than just walks on the beach or beautiful sunsets or even trips to amazing and exotic locations. Certainly all of these can and will give you wonderful special memories that are lifetime keepsakes. But true love has and always will be forged in the crucible of adversity. You have grown in your love because of the many tests that life has already presented and it is always the difficult times that test and mold love into the precious lifelong gift we all so long for. It is surely a testament to your strength and character that both of you have been able to open yourselves to the vulnerability that this commitment requires of you. And to be known by another person in this way is a precious gift. Despite any differences people may have, love is what we all share. It's the great unifier, our one universal truth. No matter who we are or where we've come from, what we believe, we know this one thing, love is what we are doing right. Love is the reason that Rachel and Jason are both standing here and it's why all of you are here to watch them. In this moment, we are reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of our humanity and of the divine example we have all committed to following. You fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You both are choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. You are both blessed to know that you are marrying your best friend. When you find someone you love because of who they are, who they've been, and who you are together, they truly become a part of you. You hurt when they struggle. You feel their love even when they're not with you. You make each other a priority because you make each other better. Your marriage is a promise, a promise to God and a promise to each other. And your marriage is the fulfillment of potential which has been realized in the hearts of two people who obviously love each other. I know it is the heartfelt desire of everyone here that the rest of your life will be spent working to fulfill that promise. And at the end of a wonderful life together, may you find yourselves then as now, still hand in hand, still giving thanks for having found one another. There is no moment of my life when you are not a part of me. You hold my heart, you guard my soul, you guide my dreams so tenderly, and if my will might be done and all I long for could come true, with perfect joy I choose to share eternity with you. 